All right, so y'all read the title. You guys know what this video is going to be about. This video is going to be about GHZ Wolf Compressor. Now, Wolf Compressor is one of my all time favorite plugins. It's essential if you're trying to make boom bap or lo fi. Well, you're not essential, but it can really take your game to the next level. Essentially, it's a really great emulation of the SP404 sampler that uh, people like Jay Dilla and Madlib used to use back in the day. And basically, what it's emulating is the compression algorithm within that SP404. Now, that compression algorithm rhythm made drums extra dusty and crunchy and gritty and just really fat so it's really good on drums but then also it's really great on melodies i mean obviously people when they sampled through the sp404 they got the melodies from there too and it would give it this really great like wobble and compression and then like lo-fi type effect so um i'm just gonna i made a beat real quick with this and i posted it on twitter and i'll just play that for you guys right now so you get an idea and then after it i'll delve into the plugin and like how you can use it Now that's the second boom bap beat I've ever made. And um, you know, I just kind of knew that like since back in the day, they used to use that SP404 for those crunchy lo-fi type drums um, that I was gonna use this plugin on the beat. And I'll show you exactly how I did that. So now real quick, here's the drum break at the end of the song without Wolf Compressor on the bus active. It's not bad, but now listen to it with Wolf Compressor. Man, you are you so watch your mouth? Sir. Now let me do it one more time um, on the section that's got the perks in it. So here's it without. And now here's it with. So you'll hear there's just a lot more glue, a lot more grittiness, a lot more, you know, like just edge to like the drums, just like those classic boom bop, boom bat beats by like Jay Dillon and stuff like that. So now I'm going to break down how you guys can do this. So as you see, I've got my kick, all my drums and stuff over here, and they're, none of them are being routed to the master. They're all being routed to the boom bap drum bus. So everything, all your drums are going to be bust. And then you want to have this as one of the first items in your chain. So basically you'd put GHZ Wolf compressor on. And then what you really need to do that's important is you can go uh, click these three little dots to expand it. And then you want to go over here and you want to go in the 1990s digital algorithm. That is the SP404 famous algorithm uh, that makes drums just sound so great. And then you can turn up the crunch to taste. You can mess with the noise a little bit. I tend to not touch any of these. Um, and then over here, I like it usually at like 50% for lo-fi, but you can mess with that again, depending on how much you want. That's just going to degrade the signal, the signal more the higher percentage it is and comp i always leave at 50 i just feel like that was the perfect ratio the wow i turned up for the drums just because turning up uh the detuning on the drums isn't going to have a big impact on being out of key per se so i just and i just thought it sounded better so that's what you need to do to set it up lastly you can also use ghc wolf compressor on your melodies just like before, you'll see all my melodies go into a boss, and then in the boss, I've got GHC Vogue Compressor as the first item in my chain. So I'm gonna play for it right now without GHC Vogue Compressor, and then I'm gonna turn it on so you can hear what it does. Now here's it with GHC Vogue Compressor. So as you can see, now it's a lot more glued together, just like how the drums were. It's a little bit more lo-fi. There's a little bit of the top end rolled off a little bit. Um, you know, it's kind of got like a little bit of wow, that detune that kind of makes it kind of like very mesmerizing and trippy. So let me just go through the settings I did for this. 
So what I did here is exactly the same thing. I went to the 1990s digital SP404 algorithm. This time I did not um, do much to the crunch because adding crunch kind of um, is almost like a bit crusher when you'd put it on melodies. Like it adds this really non-pleasant digital distortion. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Um, there's different algorithms, by the way, analog and the 1980s digital. Those could also work really great on anything. But again, like I just want to stay true to the SP404 style. Um, over here, comp, it left it at 50. Lo-fi, I left it at 50. And then, wow, I left it at 15. I tend not to go past 15 on my melodies. I think it makes it a little bit too much out of tune. So, uh, yeah, there we go. I just figured I'd give you a more detailed demo of the lo-fi aspect of the plugin. So I just created another little melody right here and I'm just gonna swipe up and down while I play it. So here's it without it. And now here's it with it and I'm just gonna mess around. We're gonna actually be on the analog uh, preset this time. A lot of people when they click this video probably got scared when they heard the word compressor thinking it was going to be a, a boring video on a dynamics plugin but ghc wolf compressor is clearly a compressor in its own field you know i actually view ghc wolf compressor as more of an effect than an actual compressor at least in the way that i use it um for those of you that are like uh brushed up on your hip-hop history and know about the sp404 and love those classic beats this is a must-have plugin for you guys and i'm not sponsored by them i just really love the plugin i think it's a great emulation sp404 is something i've been eyeing down to make my drums extra like cr crispy and crunchy especially if i was gonna get into more boom bappy type territory so yeah i just i had to share it with you guys i hope you guys got something out of this and peace